hope the camera focus will be great now. Here we are. As you can plainly see, the needle is somewhat sticking. It's free, but it's not moving freely. So I'm going to try to adjust the needle to make it uh, more um, more free by turning the small little screw. But you have to be very careful in this regard because you can actually set it too free and it'll fall apart. But I'm just going to twist the uh, small little screw here, flat top, and see if I can free the needle. Okay, I've just turned this small uh, screw. Of course, I was holding this meter because it's sitting pretty precariously in this in this place here. So I was holding onto the meter and I backed off the screw here. And now, if I turn the dial here, this is the main dialing, not the fine-tuning one here. But uh, if I turn it, you'll see we will get in the copyright straight. Turn up a little bit of volume here. Server. So here's what the fine tune being turned. Now you see that the needle is free. And I just took this small little screw here and uh, probably turned up maybe a quarter of a turn counterclockwise. Now I'm going to reassemble. Before I reassemble, I just want to point out when the meter when the radio is turned off the meter goes up to almost like full when it's turned on it goes back to a low mode and then you can seek your signals as you can see okay I have the faceplate put back on as you can see down here the faceplate and the radio is actually facing downward and I've got this screw and this screw here put in place uh, the meter that was stuck is back here underneath and you have to make sure that it is in line with the uh, plastic casing so that you'll be able to see it and that it won't be touching the plastic casing so that the needle will be able to move freely I'm going to continue now putting in the screws here while this is still face down being careful of all the wiring and then we'll install it back in the case I've inserted the case down over the radio here and of course it's going to be locked in with these screws down here and uh, here this back this casing and of course you got to run your power cord up through as you can see right here power cord got to be run through and this is a, a modification that the gentleman that owned this radio before me done uh, it's a grounding of some sort that helps the radio with reception but anyway so anyway we're going to lock the case in and then we're going to uh, hook the antenna back up uh, because the antenna is on the back plate we'll do that in a minute okay I've replaced all the screws on the top here that holds the, uh, the casing to the front of the radio of course and uh, I've uh, reattached the back added the screws here and of course there's a wire that connects to this antenna that needs to be um, connected before you put the back on and of course all the screws on the bottom to hold the casing in place and uh, that extra wire you see there is the, gr the ground wire that uh, somebody added as a, as a receiving mod so the next thing we need to do now is uh, align the buttons that need to be aligned and make the switches um, be uh, hooked up properly and then we'll give it a I'll go and see if everything's fine. Okay, the radio is fully assembled now. All the screws are put back in place. And now we're going to do a test. As you can see, the meter does ride high when the radio's off. And when you turn it on, it uh, actually uh, detects the signal. And you can adjust the fine tune to give you your best signal. So here we go. Let's see. By the time you finish, we would all be hammered. <laughs> we don't want to get a copyright strike here. So, okay, we'll uh, see if the meter is going to work. With the uh, main tune. Yep. And we're going to try to fine tune. Okay. 
there you have it. That's how you uh, repair your uh, your meter on your realistic DX100. Thanks everyone for watching.